Okay. So, first outline of where we're going. We're going to be looking at presuppositions, methodology, evidence, objections and conclusions to the resurrection. First of all, a consideration of the resurrection is primarily a look at history, specifically the history of Jesus and the early church. In the study of this history, it is important to note all historians come to the material with a bias. This leads scholars to make up a Jesus of their own making. In a profound lecture, Dr. Dale Allison, a formidable scholar of the historical Christ and the theological Jesus, March 6, 2012, Duke University, noticed the orthodox scholars produce a Jesus that fits their creeds, while the skeptics produce a Jesus to fit their ideologies. For example, he notes it is no accident the Irish scholar Dominic Crossan writes the life of Christ as an Irish revolutionary is who is under the imperial power of Rome. As we look at the history of the historical quest of Jesus, we see how especially skeptics who boast of the super objectivity in historiography are guilty of bias. We have H. Remarius, 1694-1764. He said Jesus was a Jewish revolutionary. Uh, D. F. Strauss, 1808-74, was a Jesus was a myth, and, and the New Testament was a projection of the church onto a fictitious past. Ernest Renan, 1823-92, Jesus was a romantic visionary. H. G. Altzman, 1832-1910, Jesus was the teacher of timeless ethical truths. Johann Weiss, 1863-1914, Jesus was an eschatological, eschatological teacher figure who should be fitted into first century Judaism. Albert Schweizer, 1875 to 1965, Jesus was a failed prophet, but a towering personality who we can learn about if we go back to the Jewish context and avoid the early church historical spin. Rudolf Boltmann, 1884 to 1976, he saw Jesus as a preacher of timeless truth, using his existentialism to construct him. The reconstruct him he thought we must avoid the Jewish context even the last 20 years modern Jesus studies are plagued with many ideas of who the historical Jesus is thus showing methods are shaping the historical material to fit the scholars agenda all these scholars wrote about Jesus influenced by the intellectual horizons and culture it's not to say that they do not have some relevant insights into who Jesus was but only to show they soon became out of fashion New atheists have not brought free from creating Jesus in their own image. So what I'm saying is, look, we're going to look at the historical Christ and did he rise and did he or did he not from the dead. But we've got to be honest, as we look at the evidence, we all come with a bias, the Christian and the atheist. But what I've traced for you is the history of scepticism against Christ and Christianity and showing you that scepticism in its historical inquiry has been biased they have created christ in their own image we'll go further on into this 